evening, everyone, and welcome to the first edition of Some Good News Straight from Washingtonville, New York. My name is Rebecca, and I'll be one of your hosts for this edition. Let's get to the news. Our first story started off as a joke to prank Betty's country kitchen owner, Kevin Rade. It quickly turned into a community passion project to give back to someone who always gives so much to the community. Let's take a look. What an amazing story of how our community comes together. Now let's go to our co-host, Lady Serrano, who has some great news about face masks. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Some Good News, the Washingtonville edition. And I am one of your hosts, Lady Serrano. Now let's get to it with some good news. In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, many medical facilities were running out of protective face masks. Support personnel were being asked to use bandanas or scarves. I reached out to a local mom who has now been able to deliver over a thousand face masks. And we can see how these masks are already put into excellent use. I decided to start making face masks whenever I saw a video of New York City nurses making their own face masks inside of a hospital. I knew then that I needed to help all the essential workers any way that I could. I got my mask that Sierra has prepared and I just sewed them and I dropped them back onto her mailbox. Like so. Thank you. Though it is important to understand that these cloth face masks do not replace N95 because they do not filter out viruses like COVID-19, they could at least provide some sort of physical protection and are an improvement from using scarves and bandanas. Um, I myself was able to deliver about 100 masks to my job um, thanks to our local mom. Some great news, lady. In other news, Father Mauer from St. Mary's of Washingtonville led an Easter procession throughout the entire school district on Sunday. Thank you, Father Mauer, for reminding Washingtonville that we're too blessed to be stressed. Now back to Lady Serrano with some more good news, with an online community leader making major mommy moves. Lady? We have another local mom who, with the help of her husband, have been able to make and donate over a hundred face shields using their own 3D printer. And she talks to us about how, it, how important it is for them to be able to help and donate. Hi, my name is Lisa Santiago and I'm the founder of an online community called Orange County New York Moms. When COVID-19 hit New York really hard, I wanted to figure out a way that um, myself and my family could help those people who are putting their lives on the line every day, those essential workers. Um, so doing a bit of research and trying to figure it out, I came across a post on Facebook about somebody using their 3D printer to print face shields. So right away I sent it to my husband because we have a 3D printer and I said, is this something that we can do? So he did a little research and found the files that he needed and um, his we were actually able to create this so we took that and um, we bought projector covers and material to put on the inside along with rubber bands and um, i posted it in the mom's group and said are people in need of this and the reactions and the comments just flooded in yes i need this i need 10 oh i could use five i work in this hospital you know oh i'm a i'm a you know radiologist and we need seven so um Right away, I told my husband, there is a need, get started, print as many as you can. And um, since then, so many generous people have reached out offering to donate money for supplies and they donated some money or purchased supplies and had it sent to me. And um, we've been able to distribute over a hundred of the face shields and we're still currently making more. We actually have a second 3D printer on its way and hopefully it's not delayed anymore and should be here any day now. So we can up our capacity a little bit and give out some more because the messages are just still coming in. 
Anything we can do to help our local community and those essential workers putting their lives on the line, we're happy to do. So thank you everyone who's donated or offered to donate and all those essential workers who are doing your, your best. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. One thing I can proudly say about our community is that when one of our own asks for help, we deliver. Wow, lady, that's incredible news. Thanks for sharing. This will conclude our first edition of Some Good News from Washingtonville, New York. If you have a story or video you'd like to share on the next edition of Some Good News, or if you'd like to participate as one of our anchors or hosts, please drop us a line and let us know. We'd love to have you. Stay home, stay safe, and always look on the bright side. Take care, Washingtonville.